I am that reluctant millennial who is now only properly joining TikTok, sort of, kind of, don't hold me to it. Here's the thing. I've had a TikTok account for a while because I wanted to nab that at Hannah Witten, which I got. Follow me on TikTok. It has been a few years, but only just now am I actually like posting things to TikTok, but are they just reposted reels? Sort of, yes, doesn't matter. But one of the things that I'm really bad at when it comes to TikTok is being a consumer. Do I want to be a good consumer of TikTok? Jury's out. But what I do know about TikTok is that it has its own culture and the For You page, your stream of algorithmic entertainment content is meant to be like very good once the algorithm gets to know you. This is what I knew about TikTok a year ago. Is this still the case? I don't even know. I don't use TikTok enough that my For You page actually speaks to me. And then I don't go back on the app because I was like, eh, it wasn't that great. But over the years, I have been tagged in the comments of TikToks, of people kind of being like, oh, Hannah might like this. Oh, this reminds me of Hannah or blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. And so I figured maybe my audience, my followers, you guys would help me <laughs> find some TikToks I actually like. And so that is gonna be today's very silly video. I'm going to react to some TikToks that I've been tagged in. Have I gone through and had a look and prepped and made sure that these are all safe for work or entertaining or like not just people being horrible? No, I haven't. So it's gonna be as much as a surprise to you as it is to me. But without further ado, let's do this. Mentions and tags, let's go there. Ready? <laughs> so as a, um, a person with an ileostomy, I am entitled to free it's prescriptions. It's an ileostomy thing, I'm yes. I'm entitled to free prescriptions. I did know um, that you can get prescription my diabetes, underwear. but also my ileostomy. Anybody with a stoma is entitled to free NHS prescriptions. Whoop, whoop. But did you also know that you're entitled to free prescription for underwear? Now, once a year, I get Vanilla my order Blush. through. I've heard of that company. Okay, you get the picture. Hannah Witten needs to do this mold. Not all vaginas feel the same because they're not built the same. The inside of every vagina is completely unique and different to one another. What? This photo is a mold of different vaginas. And as you can see, each width, length is different. How do I do this? This is clearly an ad, but Most still. Most vaginas are also asymmetrical and will look different from the outside. You've intrigued me. Okay, it's a company that do period pain relief devices. She doesn't tell me how I make these molds, but if anyone knows how to make a mold, I want to know how to make the mold. Next. Bloody has worked with a team of healthcare professionals and the disability community to design a device that can be used in lots of different ways. So no matter of your gender, your sexual orientation, your experience what is, level, what is or it? your disability, what is it? hopefully there is a way that the Ziggy can work to suit your needs. So what let me Ziggy? show you a few ways the Ziggy can be used. You can sit on it. So the Ziggy is designed with a flat base. A lot of devices out there are circular, so they roll around. This makes it really stable and it doesn't move. Another way it can be used is to lay on top of. Like I said before, it has that flat base, so it doesn't move around too much is in this, this position. A like most devices vibrate, uh, that vibrate, you can put this on sensitive parts of your body. We have designed the Ziggy in the shade to mimic the pelvis, uh, which makes it really easy to insert into underwear or a harness. You can yeah. insert it. What? You can position I need it between a picture two of what it actually looks like. But I guess it's so the device so... has two wings that have magnets in the sides, so you can oh wrap it around. And... Okay, I need an image of this actual device. It's all just illustrations, but is it because it's TikTok? You can't actually show a sex toy. But this is cool. It will lock in place and hold. Otherwise, it can just sit on the sides and vibrate and you'll feel the sensation just as much. Thanks guys for watching. And if you're keen to learn more about what... Interesting.
next. Oh my god, I've actually already Hi, seen these. My name's these. Sam. I'm a Jewish artist and designer making modern Judaica and Jewish home decor. She I makes these gorgeous mezuzahs. I have recently been focusing mezuzas. most on my mezuzah cases. Mezuzah. They're super fun to make, but also definitely a labor of love. I'd seen these and I've actually saved them on Etsy. They're quite expensive, but if slash when we eventually move house, I might ask my mum to get me one. Someone else mentioned to me in a comment of a different video of the same thing. Okay, this person has said, also just discovered that Hannah Witten has some amazing tube vids related to this topic. What topic For is it? a lot of autistic people, especially if you have alexithymia, which 50 to 70% of us do, um, figuring out your emotions and like what you're feeling can be a challenge. We actually haven't done a video about autism and sex and relationships, but we are planning one. We did one about ADHD, but maybe that comment was in relation to something else. But this is cool. A system of love. You know how I love a list. I'm gonna have to come back to this video. Let's just save it <laughs> and I'll watch it properly later. Because that's how people watch TikTok, right? Okay, what's this one? So this teddy was made for a three-year-old in America who's had a major open heart surgery and who's got a stoma. Hi Nick, this is 3D Toy Shop Teddy Hospital where we make toys that don't exist, like little pacemakers and little tracheostomies, so children who are going through the hardest time can have a friend like them. Oh, that's so cute, it's a teddy bear with an ostomy and different teddy bears with scars and various medical devices. Super cute! So far, I mean, I'm being tagged in like Jewish stuff, stoma and disability stuff, and sex vagina stuff so i <laughs> clearly people know what i should be watching this is another stoma one apparently i overindulged for new year's eve <laughs> what a way to wake up at 3.30 in the morning okay just stoma problems um that is a very gassy bag so she's had a lot of bubbly to drink maybe that's funny just stoma problems okay what's this one with a child in it <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah. No, I don't even celebrate Christmas. <laughs> I celebrate Hanukkah. <laughs> oh my god, that was excellent. I don't even celebrate Christmas. I celebrate Hanukkah. Let's see what this one is. Did you know mommy? Can you show me your bag? Roman, where's your bag? Can you... Did you know mommy has a bag? Did you know mommy Aww. has one? Look at that. <laughs> Did you give me a key? Oh, okay, so the mum doesn't have a stoma bag, but she's like pretending that she does because her toddler has one. It's cute, but also then you're gonna have to maybe explain to them in the future that you don't actually have one and you were pretending. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that, but yay for normalizing it and making your kid not feel ashamed about having a stoma. Right, next. What do you mean? Can you get time off for the holidays? The holidays were months ago. No, it's winter. There's not really... Christmas. Christmas. Um... Oh, that's like a, that's like a big one for you. Okay, um. More Jewish stuff. Maybe, is that, is Jewtalk a thing? Is it called Jewtalk? Maybe I should join Jewtalk. Apparently this fits perfectly with my latest video, but this comment was from 11 weeks ago. So who knows what video that is. I did the math time, story time, the pee time, the snack time. I said go to bed just about a million times. And then I sat down to write this song and you said, did you notice I mowed the lawn? You are such a good dad. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know about other people, but I find it really hard to watch TikToks where the lyrics of the song, like what I'm listening to or the voiceover is different to the text that I'm seeing on screen. I just find it very confusing and I do not know what to focus on. And then this one especially, she's like lip syncing, but I can't tell because it's all like out of sync. And like, is she miming the lyrics that are coming up on screen or miming the lyrics that I'm hearing? Like I cannot tell because there's three things happening at once. Her miming, 
what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing and I hate it. I understand the premise of what's going on of like the you're such a good dad song, but I, 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 I it hurts my brain, <laughs> it hurts my brain. I can't watch things like this. Okay, so now we've entered into parenting TikTok, I think, cause that's like a whole thing. Don't know if you already do this, but just saw your new video saying Rowan doesn't sleep through the night and this vid reminded me of it. So I just found out that nighttime breast milk has melatonin in it. I and didn't know daytime that. daytime breast milk has cortisol in it, which helps with energy and alertness and focus. So I started separating my pumped milk in AM and PM. I don't know if this is normal. I just found all this out. But now I make sure to label which is PM, which is AM. And she has been sleeping really good. So I wonder if this is helping. Maybe it is, but I still nurse Rowan to sleep. He doesn't have pumped milk to sleep unless I'm out. I actually used to separate AM and PM, but I haven't been recently, but it's true. The melatonin thing. So in theory, I guess that's a good idea to separate your breast milk AM, PM. Right, what's this one about? The universe really tried to humble me, y'all. Okay. Oh, another said, ostomy. Queen, you're doing so well right now. Let me throw a shit bag on you permanently for the rest of your life so that your self-esteem will be on the ground. And I said, hold on, I have a better idea. Let me bedazzle it. Cool, I like that. I want a sequiny, glittery stoma bag cover. That's cool, that is very cool. Boom, what's this? I've got a question. I saw a TikTok that said, when you need to pee during, so you go to the toilet, but it comes out clear. And then it was a video of her being like frustrated. So does that mean that that's not pee? Like does load up during and it's not actually pee? Or was she just meaning that so. it was well hydrated pee so it wouldn't have stank and she could have let loose? Furthermore, someone said- I think with all of the like censoring herself, I'm struggling to follow. My brain is so slow. Someone said something about sex and pee and now she's trying to figure out and is confused about whether she was squirting or whether it was pee. I honestly don't really know what's happening. But I recognize this person's face and is she like mega popular on TikTok or something? Because my friend Lucy showed me her the other day, I think, if, it's, if that's who it is. Right, what's this? What are we making? What are we making? <gasps> Rainbows? Clouds? This is the kind of shit I like. This is not what I was expecting to be tagged in but I find watching videos of like people making stuff and time lapses and stuff just so satisfying. <gasps> Wait, is it a Hanukkah? I think they're making a Hanukkah. Wait, there was no big reveal. Is it a Hanukkah? <laughs> I think. There is one video that I've been tagged in multiple times. And I think I know what it is because friends of mine just legit sent this directly to me. Yeah. It's the uh, pumpkin and the stoma bag one. A classic, a classic. Oh, there's a pregnancy stoma one. Oh, we got a stoma bag change. Cool. I know not everybody wants to see a stoma, so look away now if you don't want to see one, but hey, let's normalize it. That is bold. She's just like not, I'm always there with like a cloth, like ready to go. <laughs> yeah, she pregnant and she's got a stoma. It looks really similar to mine. I'm gonna call it there, but there are <laughs> a lot more that I have been tagged in. So let me know if you would like to see another one of these videos. There are so many more that I have been tagged in and I'm really curious to go through and watch some and find some TikTok creators and maybe influence my For You page a bit better. There were some clear themes. We had the sex ed stuff. We had the stoma and disability stuff. Then there was some Jewish stuff and then some parenting stuff. Like those were the four things that clearly when people see a TikTok semi-related to those topics, I get tagged. That's fun. There was nothing offensive. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I know that like most of the people who watch my YouTube are also millennials. So I'm like curious, are you one of those millennials that is like into TikTok, you've figured it out, you love TikTok, or are you still kind of like on the fence like me and a bit reluctant and scared of it still? And are you just one of those people that don't care at all? Well done you. Thank you for watching. I hope that you're doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.